we'll go straight to um, our, we'll set our minds straight to tomorrow where we have um, Morocco playing against um, Croatia at um, the Qatar 2022. And that's the now time for me to introduce my guest, Jubilee Achi, who is going to analyze. Uh, thank you very much for being part of the show. Yeah, thank you for having me, sir. But um, Jubilee, the world is set in their minds in Qatar and um, Africans are hoping that um, Morocco will do us proud. Now we are all speaking at one voice at Africa because it's the first time um, anything from Africa we get to the um, semi-final of the World Cup. And if Morocco wins, we have the first time an African team gets a medal, a bronze medal at the World Cup. Personally, let me ask you, how do you feel about an African team one match away from another record of having the bronze medal? Well, honestly, I would prefer them to be in the final, but uh, I guess we'll have to go with the third place. Morocco did very well, uh, really impressed with their performance, beating big guns like Spain, finishing top of their group, of course. So I wish they, they went to the finals, you know, but if we have to settle for a third place, uh, then all the Africans are at their back. Let's see what they can do for us. What, 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 what does it mean to you? I mean, because a lot of people think um, we've been having issues about Arabs, Morocco are saying there are more Arabs than African and all that. Does, it, does, it, does, that, does this stop the fact that, that uh, an African team, or what, what does it really mean to the African people? Does it ge um, gear them to do further? Well, to me, it shouldn't really matter if they're Arabs or not. They're Africans, you know, so everybody's behind them for this match. We all want them to win, so that's what matters at this point. Whether they are Christians or Muslims doesn't really matter. It's, it's sports. Okay, to fight sports. Now, let's look at the game proper now. And, um, some said that um, it's probably be Croatia, and some said it's Tunisia. Um, it's going to be Moroccans mm. winning this. What, 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 how do you see the game? How do you think the game will pounce out at the end of the day? Or from the kickoff of this World Cup, we've seen a lot of surprises. Uh, Japan, Saudi Arabia beating Argentina for their first opening game. So I don't think anybody should rule out Morocco. It's a very even match for me because they made it to the semi final. That's a very, very big game. You know, getting defeated by was number one France. So, I think they are quite evenly matched and we should expect anything from this game. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obvious that you are rooting for the Moroccan side. But yeah. statistics is not going to support them. Um, we have um, Morocco um, getting to the first um, semi-final and we have um, Croatia getting to the, I think, um, the third semi-final. Yeah, third, yeah, third, third place match. Yeah, third place. They've won the third place before. They're hoping to win that. They've been to the final, which they lost to the France team. Um, do you think that will really play out tomorrow, or you see a team, a game whereby you, it's going to go to the extra minutes, 120 minutes, or the penalty shootout? Oh, being um, a sports analyst, I've never really backed on stats. It, uh, it's, it's sports, so you can never really know. Players come at different times. So, uh, honestly, I feel like Kourish, um, Morocco can give a good game today, regardless of whether they have been to the World Cup, I think six times. Uh, not winning so much, you know, we have seen good players, ZH, Hakimi showing themselves for their nation, even their new coach, you know, so I really believe in Morocco and I really believe they can grab the win. They met in the group stage. Ah, yes. They met Draw. in the group stage and um, do you think that um, group stage performance will make it a tougher match because mm -hmm. it was a draw, it ended in a, yeah. a draw, uh, but, but this time around, both of them are also meeting mm -hmm. in, um, in the third place match. What, what, what do you think the Moroccans, because we have um, injury worries for uh, yes, the Moroccans, that's true, that's true. while we know that um, the, 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 the Croatians, they still have the man that steered the midfield of Real Madrid yes. to win the um, Champions League. Do you think the Moroccan side with Modric might make it different? Well, uh, I feel like the Croatians will have that draw at the group stage at the back of their minds, knowing that they are facing a side that went as, as far as they did. So I don't think they're going to step down. They have a vastly experienced side, you know, Modric, Perisic playing for them. And on the other hand, we have an uh, injury reading Morocco. So honestly, from starts, we might say Croatia will take this. But I, I really believe Morocco can, you know, make a stance. And even if they don't win, they can put some pressure on the game. We have reports that telling us that um, we will be seeing much of um, 
um, they are geared up. Do you think Africans are going to be even at this stage? Because you know, the next World Cup is going to be so much about more teams from Africa oh, yes. competing in the next World Cup. How, how do you think this has really gingered? Let me use that word, both that word, ginger, Nigerians mm. or other African teams to the next World Cup. Do you think we'll do better mm. at the next World Cup with what Morocco has shown the world that it is not about um, other European side and South American side are not invincible mm. to get to this um, World Cup? What do you think this, what, do you think the African side will do much more? Well, personally, I'm very patriotic. So, um, even if we didn't make it to the final, uh, to me it's an African World Cup because this is our best performance in the World Cup. As far as Africa is concerned, um, all five teams winning at least one game in their group matches. Uh, Morocco doing well, uh, Senegal making it to the quarterfinals at least. So, you know, Africa really showed that we want to play this game and we can make our mark in the international stage. So, I believe that Africans everywhere are excited, whether you're from Nigeria, whether you're from Ghana. Morocco is Africa and we are all Africans. Hmm. Any match prediction? <laughs> uh, I'm sure that's a tougher nut to crack because, you know, hmm. when we talk about prediction, we are looking at a, a situation whereby um, you are going to get so much as right as possible. Yeah. Um, the first, uh, first half, how will it pounce out? The second half, extra time if there's any, hmm. penalty shootout if there's any. Well, through this World Cup, I've seen Morocco being a very defensive side. Um, almost the same as Croatia. I believe that because of their injuries, Morocco might pull back a bit, you know, hold their lines, not to concede. I see this going to a penalty shootout, honestly. And when it does? <sighs> honestly, <laughs> well, we just have to see. It's um, interesting to also know that um, more Moroccan side are really coming into um, the, the game.